Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio. It's Thursday, October 29th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. Royals uh, look out of a stranglehold on the series, a 2-0 series lead. Now the last team to come from behind in the World Series and win after being down 0-2, the 96 Yankees. I remember that series well. They lost the first two at home, blown out, then won the next four and uh, swept them in Atlanta before coming back to New York and wrapping it up in six. Mets already threw their two best pitchers and they're down 0-2. I don't care that the next three are in New York. This Royals team, a lot of guts. They find a way to win, and the, the World Series experience matters. Game three, Friday night, Royals look like they're going to close that out. It could be a sweep or win in five. But I've been wrong before. In any event, tonight's going to be epic. Seven football games. Six in college, one in the NFL. We'll start there. Patriots up to eight at home against the Dolphins. A lot of people saying, listen, you beat Tennessee and Houston, who cares? Dan Campbell's done a great job. They're after the quarterback. One sack under Philbin. They come in six against Mariota. They harassed the Texans in a 41 to nothing halftime lead. Tannehill completed 25 straight passes. I know a lot of that was dink and dunk, and then the Texans couldn't tackle. But a great job so far out of Miami. And then here are the mighty Patriots. And talking to Jimmy Vaccaro yesterday, how about the point spread hijinks in some of these New England games? You get the backdoor cover late at Indy Sunday night, save the books. You got Folk from 55 last week to put it on seven. And then the last play of the game, week one, to start the season when they won by seven against the Steelers when Roethlisberger threw a touchdown and Butler somehow didn't intercept it. So they're up to eight, and we'll see. Great job by Brady last week, but the Patriots are banged up, and I want to see if they can harass Brady today because that O-line has a ton of injuries. We'll see how the champs do tonight on Thursday night footballs. They're in the middle of this stretch where I think it's four of the next five or th yeah, four of the next five at home for the Patriots. Also, college football. TCU in action tonight against West Virginia. Huge total in that one. They're more than a two-touchdown favorite. As Jimmy Vaccaro said yesterday, he likes this schedule because you started off with a huge game in the ACC at 4 Pacific with North Carolina and Pittsburgh. That's the battle for first place for the Coastal Division. And then we wrap it up with a snack in the Pac-12 with Oregon at Arizona State. There's a play coming up on that one before I get out of here. So this is going to be a lot of fun with seven. I can't remember this many games on a Thursday in football. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Two featured pro picks up at pregame.com. J.R. O'Donnell. Great job, my friend. NFL Game of the Week. He's on a 7-0 three-star run, 19-5 streak in the NFL. Get his NFL Game of the Week. No one has better analysis and write-ups, and nobody works harder than Jr. Keep it going, kid. Dave Koken with a two-star tonight in college football. Back-to-back -back strong weekends for Dave. He's got a two-star today in college football. Handicapping the cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. This pick is yours for just $15. We look to make it 8 of 9. We've hit 7 of our last 8. And they've been uh, easy winners until we got the hockey one the other night, which we were fortunate to win. But we cashed the ticket. We're on a total tonight in college football. Grab it. Let's make it 8 of 9. This is a fun run. And two pros are on this game, and they like it a lot. College football total, $15. Paulie's pick from the pros, handicapping the campers. As always, betting half eat on this one, the free pick. Ken Thompson likes Oregon, Arizona State, under 67. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. We'll talk to you Friday. Be careful out there. Watch out for those little ghosts and goblins and the trick-or-treaters. They hide in the leaves. They can't see you. Drive safe. Pregame.com.